coming from sixth form and A-levels where you're pretty much spoon-fed uh, knowledge and you're just told exactly what you need to know and this is how you learn it, into first year where the content just completely goes over your head. And so I think I've really learned how to be an active learner. So if I'm struggling with something, then I need to identify the books that I need. I need to go to the internet. I need to see um, the person who's going to help me. And so just identifying those um, resources and um, trying to gain as much information as possible. I think dentistry is so wide and it incorporates so many different fields of study. And they're all really unfamiliar. And so naturally, I'm not as good at some things as I am at other things. So recently, I've been trying to think about the things that I'm not so good at and to identify the steps that I need to take to improve. So for example, I know the clinical work I'm really struggling with right now, and so that I need to put in, so I, I know that I need to put in extra hours in um, the clinic and do some more practice in order to improve. Within our course, we have many different international students and the area itself is so diverse and so I have really learned the value of diversity and learned about different people's beliefs and practices and when I'm dealing with them I always try to keep these sorts of things in mind so just to kind of improve our interaction and hopefully I'll take that on with patients as well. Recently I started a plaque related disease module um, so in that we have lab sessions um, on which we work on mannequins and we carry out various dental procedures in order to start our sort of clinical aspect of the course. And I think it's really given me an initiative in meeting new challenges because using your hands to do things, um, dentistry related things, using instruments and just being in a completely unfamiliar environment is really tough at first but I think I'm slowly starting to see improvement. During this module, we're taught by clinical tutors, by dental material specialists and microbiologists. And so you really see dentistry from different perspectives. And you kind of realize that you can't be rigid in your learning. There's not one set right way. And the field is continuously changing and evolving. And so you have to kind of be open to that change and adapt with it as well. I think this module has really helped me to engage with the professional world. In the lab, we don't only just carry out um, dental procedures, but we're also assessed on our professionalism, our cross-infection control, and all these things which will eventually become really relevant when we are qualified dentists. And so it's a really good introduction and um, really good for developing those good habits um, that hopefully you'll take on um, in your later career.